Hey, how you guys doing? Well, you got to be very careful this year, and especially in Northeast Ohio. I know some reports on 3, 5, and 8 said that they're using safe products, but they're not. They're really not, and I'm going to tell you what they're doing to us. You see, a while back in Ohio, we had this idiot governor who changed the law, the Ohio law of, of radioactive waste to naturally occurring substance because they figured radon, you know, radon, uranium, byproduct radi radium, and radium is byproducts radium, and it comes out of the ground, so it's naturally occurring. It, of course it's naturally occurring. It's still radioactive. Now, here's the other problem. Once they did that, then they permitted 50 dumps. That's what they said. It's way more than that uh, in Ohio. And by the way, I'm going to get to the punchline. Why you got to be so, so. When you're driving this winter, I'm going to tell you right now, do not drive on certain roads with certain trucks. And I'll tell you that in a second. Bottom line is they took 50 to 75 dumps and says, yeah, you could dump this water. Guess what water this water is? It's from fracking. And what happened was all the other states says, oh, in, in Ohio, the idiots, the, the idiots in Ohio are going to change radioactive waste to naturally occurring substance. This is our governor, and we know who this idiot is. He, I think, ran for president, maybe. But so then they started bringing all the fracking waste all the states around Ohio. And you know what fracking, when you frack, you need about a million gallons of water. It's part of the fracking operation. Hello, everybody. Um, so that's part of the fracking operation. And so what do you do with that water? You take it to an Ohio dump. Well, guess what? Everybody's getting sick around these dumps. They're getting sick, they're getting cancers. I mean, they're, they're not gonna give you the numbers, but it's skyrocketing, and now there's more dumps. So then these people in Ohio said, oh no, this isn't good. I got an idea. Let's change the name of this water. We'll send it to a processing plant and we'll call it brime and we'll label the brime. And guess what they're doing? They're, ta they're taking this brime, which is radioactive, putting it in salt trucks and melting snow on very cold days. So now, now we got radioactive substances, which they call naturally occurring on our roads. And you're gonna drive behind a salt truck that's spraying this stuff. Man, you better be nowhere near one of these things. And if you know they're doing it, stay off the road for at least a few hours. So at least a lot of it can run off the road and, you know, kill the frogs and kill the bugs. We've already lost 50% of all our bugs. Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm driving, so I can't really read um, and answer your questions. I'll try to come back and do that. So, um, so basically, so in Ohio, they're going to be dumping radioactive brine which comes from fracking waste and now guess what they're gonna do these people are totally insane they're insane they're gonna bag it and sell it in hardware stores so then I look stuff up in the EPA and what they're trying to say is well you know we're all exposed to radiation anyways all day so it'll probably it'll probably be way under the limits so don't worry it's radioactive but it's under the limits guess what guess what get the, the old mama administration did during fukushima they increased the limits of water radiation food radiation and and radiation uh, in the air to such high numbers that we are the highest on this planet i mean the people in japan aren't allowed to eat their own food in some areas because their limits are so low but ours are so high because everybody's in, in, in you guys remember that commercial mikey give it to mikey mikey will eat it mikey likes it remember mikey mikey died man mikey's dead he's dead well america is full of mikey's and that's what they think hey john what's up i, I just saw the, the the holy s word you're right it is a holy s um and so if you're just jumping in real quick, they are going to be spraying radioactive brine on our streets to melt snow. They're not going to call it radioactive. They're just going to call it brine, and then you're going to you're going to have your little your 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 green flag, you know, your green flaggers running around. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's radiations in the sky. Radiation. Oh, here's a good one. Radiations in bananas and nuts. So what's a little brine? It, it's it's a big thing, man. It's huge. So you're gonna be all this water is gonna run off our, our roads. It's gonna get into our streams. It's gonna get into the lake. 
we already got problems with the phosphates and, and glycosol and, and, and Roundup, you know. Hey, don't you dare buy Bayer products. Nobody buys Bayer. Don't touch that. That's a bad company. They bought Monsanto's. They're a bad company. They kill people. Don't buy their shit. Don't buy Bayer. Okay, they, they change to try to change the name, you know, to, to try to like hide and from, from all the bad stuff. Here they're killing our water, they're killing our aqua, our fish, they're killing, causing algae blooms, all kind of problems. Anyways, so that is my morning rant. And uh, be, I'm going to say do not, if you see ice on the road and the trucks are out waiting, you know what, stay off the roads. Because what happens is that stuff gets on your feet. When you step out of your car, and then you can put it in your carpets in your, and by the way, radiation, radioactive half-lives, we don't, if it's radium, okay, then maybe it's radon, which it is because it's a gas, but radium's half-life is not no 30 days, or, 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 or 20 days, and there's not whole, it's naturally occurring, so there's not like isotopes, like, like cesium-134 would have a radioactive uh, half-life of like 30 days, you know, these are byproducts of nuclear. Okay, and so this is the stuff that comes out of the ground that they call naturally occurring, that they dump in our dumps. They're killing people, making people sick all over Ohio. If you don't buy a house near a dump, and, and when you see these trucks spraying, do not do not drive behind them, man, because you're, it's getting in your car, in the air you breathe, and now it's even worse because now it's become aerosolized and because there's little particles and you breathe those particles, those are going in your body and they're gonna deposit in your bone and who knows? I mean, it's like getting, you go to your dentist, if you go, you like getting your, your teeth x-rayed every year, you know, because uh, it's, it's a standard procedure. After 20 years of doing that, man, you're gonna have a problem, man. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get like throat cancer, some bullshit, some kind of some kind of issue. So, you know, the less radiation exposure you got, and by the way, eating bananas, they're gonna make fun out of people like me and saying, well, you eat bananas, bananas are radioactive. This is, a, this is one of those green flag crazy people, you know, that, by the way, these people raise their, their they, they got their green flags, they wanna save the polar bears and all that kind of stuff. And they post this stuff all day, man, on, on Facebook. And here they got dogs, they eat dog food. Think about, look up and see how much carbon dioxide dog food produces. And then they pick up the dog food with their, with their little plastic, you want plastic or you want paper? Why do you think they'll never get rid of plastic in grocery stores? There's 200 million dogs that need those plastic bags for the shit to get picked up in the morning off the front yards. They stop that, it's gonna be a problem. So, and then and now that's filling up our lakes with that plastic, so anyways, I'm ranting, it's Monday morning. Um, thanks for coming on.